is it? You'll be pleased to know I actually have like a stand on my thing. Can you change the camera around like while you're videoing? You can't, can you? How am I meant to, um, okay, can you see? <laughs> you know we're gonna see it though. <laughs> stand, yeah. Yeah. That's... So I don't have to, so it doesn't fall over anymore. Um, which apparently I was getting very well known for with my vlogs. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to finish getting ready. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter and we're not friends on Facebook, why not? Um, I'm joking. Whoa. Then, um, what was I saying? Oh, um, I'm currently in Bradford and um, I'm here overnight, so I'm going to be here all night's day, which is fine because Ronnie's got a job now, a new job, um, so he's going to be working all day anyway. Um, what am I saying with my life? Right, so, um, also if you don't know, the hospital that I was in that sort of got me into my recovery um, was a private hospital called Signet. Um, it's like Signet Healthcare run it and they have a lot of hospitals um, all around the country with specialist units and things and um, and I've been doing quite a bit of work with them um, recently and I'm going to be doing a lot more work with them this year so that's really exciting um, and so oh dear you see I did it already like this is just typical isn't it I get a posh Born with a stand thing, and now you're just not gonna stand, are you? Okay, nobody move. Um, yes, so the hospital that I was in, which is in Bailey near Bradford, um, is opening a recovery college which. Um, a lot of the Signet hospitals are doing at the minute um, and I think it's really good obviously I um, ran a workshop at my local recovery college in Newcastle um, about how blogging can help with your recovery through mental health um, so it was something like you know I know stuff about and things and it's just going to be interesting um we're going to see what's going on we're going to have a meeting basically just an afternoon of meetings um and see if there's anything i can do and be a part of and stuff in what way i'd want to and if they want me um sorry so yeah that's what i'm doing here um i'm now getting ready though um it's the 13th and um, I'm meeting my old king nurse who um, I was the only patient um, on our ward, I don't know about the rest of the hospital, um, to have the same king nurse for the longest time. Um, so her name's Debbie and she was literally my king nurse from being admitted um and she was there pretty much until the end and then that was only because she moved to a different ward upstairs um and you know she came down and saw saw me and said bye and she popped down all the time anyway and you know when there was like bad news from home and things she would like 
come down from the different world to see me. Um, and then she came to my 100,000 readers party, like not November, just gone, but the one before. Um, and we keep in touch and things. So being up here and I had this afternoon slash evening slash night free. So um, we're going to meet up and see her because my visit to Signet is professional. It's in a professional capacity. So I need to be focused on that and not like wanting to see staff and have closure and tell them everything. Oh my God, I should just give up now. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And hopefully I'll get some little vlog clips for you all if she's willing and able. I don't know where we're going yet. I'm just waiting for a text to say she's at the hotel or something. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on and I'll see you guys soon. <sighs> I will confess, I did um, laugh at myself when I looked in the mirror after I put the shower hat on from the hotel. Yep, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm about to go in the bath, which is awesome because I don't have a bath at home. So I've been able to use my um, Zoella like bath products and stuff that I've got for Christmas and things. Um, and I'll speak to you guys in a minute. Travelling with Chancellor Express. Enjoy the rest of your evening and have a safe journey home. 